the video for June 22nd, 2017 is called Summer Slash Winter Solstice at Yoga Shakti. Getting up early is normal for me. For some time now, I watch the sunrise every day. Today I went to be with friends at the yoga center in Palm Bay, participating in Hindu rituals as we watched the light rise through and above the trees. Yes, I build bridges, wanting walls to fall. Unfortunately, I began exper uh, experiencing pain in my left shoulder and chest, not as bad as it sometimes is, but enough to get my attention. I had to leave and get back home so that I could lay down. Once again, it has mostly passed, though the frequency of, the, of this discomfort seems to be increasing. I hope this is a sign of the positive changes we have been promised for a long time. It would be wonderful if I could take advantage of some of the healing technologies that have been withheld by the cabal. God knows how much I want to see real change on this planet. And I saw some errors that I've got to fix in grammar that I didn't see when I wrote the blurb. Anyway, folks, uh, I added the word winter to the title, and initially it was just summer solstice. But as I've said to a lot of you, uh, all of you that listen, uh, a year, a little over a year ago, I was in uh, Melbourne, Australia. And of course, that's the Southern Hemisphere. And in the summer hemisphere, the Southern Hemisphere, what we call in the Northern Hemisphere summer solstice is winter solstice to them because we live on a globe. We don't live on a flat earth. We live on a globe. And the seasons are very different between the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Of course, at the equator, it all equals out, and that's what equator means. It, it's an equalization between the two hemispheres. And the further you move away from the equator in either direction, you're, you're, in a sense, moving in, in opposite directions uh, as far as the weather goes and, the, and the, how the sun impacts on the, on the planet itself. And that just simply wouldn't be the case if it was a, a flat earth, as many erroneously suggest. And I get lots of comments on that. I mean, that's, a, that's one of the worst cults, the, the most divisive cults, in, in my opinion, that's on the planet today of these people pushing uh, Stone Age theory, of, of which was a lie even back then. Uh, but they're pushing it again in the 21st century, which doesn't make sense, but it is a reality that, uh, that we have to deal with because many are sucked into this, this false paradigm. But uh, I got to experience again, I don't know if I've ever been to uh, no, I don't think that. I think today is the first day, even though I've been at the yoga center many, many times. Uh, I've spoken there at times as well. Uh, I don't think I've ever experienced the sunrise. And they have one of these. They have a sunrise and sunset uh, meeting service every day of the year. Uh, and there's certain rituals that it, it surprisingly takes well, at least the one today took a, took a good hour. And uh, then we were more or less just talking and hanging out. But uh, uh, the people that are, the that are dedicated to this do this, as I said, twice a day, every day, uh, which is, you know, something. I mean, I, I personally, I can't do ritual. I mean, I may, I may do prayer and stuff. I don't even like to call it meditation because many people's idea of meditation is to silence the mind. I would rather call it contemplation because I've learned that to just be still and, and observe the thoughts, uh, not because I, when I tried to shut off my mind, it only made me <laughs> frustrated because I couldn't stop the thoughts. They would keep coming. The, the more I would try to stop them, the, the more they would come. So I, I go with the flow, and I and I, I call that contemplation rather than meditation, uh, but it's still a time of, of reflection. 
when I'm pondering what's going on in my life, including, and, and right in this moment, ironically, I just finished uh, watching Bracco, or uh, Bracho, or however you say, B-R-A-C-O. And of course, he's the healer from Slovenia, I believe, um, that heals with, a, with his gaze. And he's only on for like two or three minutes. I didn't time it, but uh, they have a whole bunch of talking in the beginning, and uh, some psychiatrist gives a, gives a story, and uh, they talk about different things. Uh, and then Bracho, Bracco comes on. I say Bracco comes on and uh, and he gazes for, as I said, two or three minutes. And ironically, in, I mean, I've been feeling that pain since, uh, uh, what was it, seven o'clock this morning? And it's it's uh, now going on uh, between 12.30 and, and one o'clock. And, uh, you know, I'm feeling the best that I have felt since I got, uh, since I got back home. Uh, even even when I took my nap, when I would wake up in between, uh, I was still feeling the discomfort, and it just wasn't going away. But uh, it seems to have dissipated quite a bit right at the moment, so that's a good thing. Uh, in any case, folks, I, I want to encourage everyone to get beyond the religious dogmas and the religious dogmas can be a scientific dogma. It can be a flat earth dogma, as I already discussed. Uh, it can be any number of things that, that divide you from everybody else. We've got to learn to love one another. And, and I don't have any problem loving somebody that's, uh, that's into the flat earth thing, but they are so religious about it. And I have trouble with fundamentalists anything. Even if it's a fundamentalist atheist that's a scientist, that claims that that's the only way. There is no only way. The only way is love. Uh, now, he was saying on the Bracco thing, the, main, the psychiatrist or whatever that was uh, talking at the beginning was saying that uh, knowledge is, uh, is no, not, it wasn't knowledge. I forgot. Isn't this funny? I, it's not even been an hour yet, and I've already forgotten the word that he was emphasizing. He was saying it's not knowledge. But he didn't say it was love either, which surprises me because to me, it's love. That's where we need to put our focus and our energy on simply loving one another and accepting the fact that we each see from a different perspective. Now, I don't understand the perspective of flat earth. I don't because to me, it's irrational, illogical. There's nothing that can make it make sense. I have looked at these things and it just doesn't make sense because of what I realize is the truth and I have flown from the northern to the southern hemisphere. I have crossed the Pacific Ocean and saw how long it takes and, and etc. Anyway, I don't want to I don't want to harp on that too much. Uh, I would like to suggest that uh, besides learning to love one another that we pray for one another. We seem to be going through some major changes right now. And I hope those changes ultimately are going to be positive changes. I'd like to see the, the lies and the deception uh, being exposed. And I'd like to see humanity being able to uh, move to a new plane of consciousness where we actually heal or be, be, become healed ourselves and learn to heal each other and learn to communicate in ways that that again, build bridges rather than walls. I want the walls to come down. That's been something that I've worked on and, and had a vision for since I was a teenager. And as you all know that have been listening, I'm 70 now, uh, pushing 71. Uh, so please, please, please uh, lift each other up and try to keep as positive uh, a view as possible. And I know how hard that is. I know what a challenge that, that has been for me when I had my home stolen. Uh, but we need to be able to rise above the, the downward trend that we've been in for such a long time. Uh, so anyway, God bless you all. And uh, as they say in India, namaste.